Santa Claus of the hood, I pull up with the work. They call me East Atlanta Santa, run up on me, get murked. I'm just trapping through the snow. So, hey, you guys, I just wanted to come here and show you guys a quick little video where I am braiding my client's hair. Um, she's getting it done up into a ponytail um, with a ball on the top. And she's a little girl, so I didn't want to have her braids looking, you know, too grown, you know, like her ball too big. But right here in this moment, you guys, I was showing you how I part the back of her hair. And then I'm going to show you about how much hair I use and you can see that I fold it over um, and use a short um, end of it and take it and braid it all the way up. So yes, I'm braiding from the nape of her ear. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm braiding um, starting at the nape up into the middle of her head. I sectioned the hair off, you guys, in two parts. As if you're going to do two ponytails, you know, one in the top and one in the back. And I just pinned up the front of her hair um, while going on ahead and tackling the back of it. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm trying to show you that I split the hair up because it started to thin out, but I split it the thick pieces up evenly and I carried it all the way down to the ends of her hair, okay? So, yeah, y'all, this video is going to be um, a part of Courtney's Christmas countdown. So please make sure that you guys stay tuned for this series. I'm going to be having hair videos. I'm going to have question, you know, Q&A videos, challenges, um, vlogs, just everything in this series, you guys. And I would love, love, love if you comment, rate, subscribe, share this video to all of your social um, networks. Support your girl. Definitely subscribe to this channel so that you can stay tuned for all of the 25 days. And hopefully, you guys, um, during the 25 days, um, it will pretty much kick my butt into going on ahead and doing this regularly. Okay, so again, I did another um, braid to show you guys pretty much what pattern I'm going into. Um, so that's why this clip is pretty uh, lengthy. But I just wanted you guys to see what I was doing here. All right, so now we're going into the next clip, you guys. And I'm showing you pretty much what the overall uh, back of her hair look like that's going to be leading up into her single ponytail. And as you can see, I tried to show you that I separated it here into two different sections, okay? And she is natural, you guys. Her hair was just, we um stretched it out. Well, her mother stretched it out so that she could... um tame it for a little while but yes she is natural we do not give her um any perms and when i first started braiding her hair you guys it was a little damaged um to say the least but we have pretty much grown it out she had a little bit of breakage towards the middle of her hair and as you can see here she does uh, that middle part the middle of her hair has caught up to the rest of her hair so we worked really really hard on getting that together and in this clip right here you guys i'm showing you um the angle that i'm starting to go it so that it can lead up to the top of her head and again taking the short end of the braid and starting it at the beginning. And as it thins out, I'm going to equally divide the braiding hair into three parts. 
No, y'all, the braids do not hurt her. She's accustomed to it. <laughs> it may look a little tight, but it is not. Um, but yeah, I'm going at sort of kind of a U-shape here that you will see in a little bit. Uh, excuse the lighting, you guys. This is my first time trying to um, do this so that you guys can see. But look how pretty that braid is. And as you can see, the U, because the braids in the back were pretty much going straight up from her nape. But this right here, this area, I did sort of a curve. And I think that I'm going to show you guys again um, another clip of when I am overall pretty much done. And as you can see... I continued to do that U, and then I went over to the other side of her head. So that gets sort of kind of even out, and I started the U on that side, and we ended up in the middle. So I am almost done with braiding her hair. It didn't take me very long. Actually, it probably took about um, 35 to 45 minutes to braid her hair up. And it was a little bit easier, you guys, because her hair was pressed out. Now, it may have took a little longer if it wasn't pressed out, but it was pretty quick for us. So, as you can see, I tried to get a closer view of what her braids looked like when I was done. And here it goes, you guys, the final result. Isn't that so pretty? Uh, yes, y'all, I put it up in a ball. I didn't want it too big because she is a child. I didn't want anything too large or making her look too grown. I tried to get her to smile at the camera. She was not having it, but as you can see in the end, she did. Hey. Hey. I look like I'm a man.